Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Tuesday, and that means we are using more gods. But before that, you see that little thing that pops up that tells you what to go watch? Yeah, episode one of Fuzz is up, and you guys should definitely watch it because we're gonna do this series. This series is gonna be good. I can't wait. You know, I, I you know I love Common Rider. Common Rider, I I just love it so much, and I'm just glad that you know I finally uh, get to you know share my love of Common Rider with you guys. This guy's gonna make a Draco sack. <laughs> So, of course, you guys know that I uh, record these ahead of time, so uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with it. So, um, I'm going to tell you about my Monday. So, Draco Sack is a jerk. <laughs> Let's clear that up. Definitely, he's a jerk. I hope I get a Foolish. If I get a Foolish Burial, then I might be able to do something with that background. Mm -mm -mm. You know? And I seriously doubt Draco Sack will be an attack, and he's probably just gonna pop my card, so. Uh, you know, I I don't like how this doesn't massively kill this, you know? Oh, yay, once again. See, see the advantage of going first, you know? Because I would have definitely solemn warning, you know, Draco Sack. But because I'm going second, I wasn't ready, you know? I, I just wasn't ready, you know? I wasn't ready. <laughs> I get the pot. I don't want to do it, but I gotta do it. You know, I I, I, I just gotta do it. So I uh, know Jekyll Sack will probably pop one of these. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll try to summon an attack over a token, maybe, but compulse, of course. I want to bluff him, but then I kind of don't. I'm, I'm gonna bluff him. I'm gonna bluff him. You know, it's just the advantage of going first. You know, if I would have went first, that compulse would have been re wouldn't have been ready. You know, uh, you know, the, t the tables are turned, and the advantage of going first is definitely uncanny in Yu-Gi-Oh. And they should definitely do something to resolve that. Because pretty much whoever wins the paper rock and dice roll generally wins the game. Whoever goes first generally wins the game. You know, it's really hard to bounce back from, you know, going second. You're automatically at a disadvantage. So, you know, it definitely sucks. Alright, so this guy is just super strong. <laughs> yep. And then, of course, Draco Sack makes more tokens, because that's just what Draco Sack does. You know? So, I'll be able to draw a couple next turn, but I still won't be ready for the butt kicking that I shall receive. Do I want to deprison that? 3,500 is a lot of damage. And I, I seriously doubt Draco Sack would be doing any attacking, so. So, at least next turn, I'll be able to. Uh, I'll go ahead and activate Pot. Honest, honest. Yep, you're gonna get that honest. We're gonna we're gonna kill a Draco sack, hopefully. So let's go ahead and dark hole, and hopefully this back row isn't something to stop me. Because if it is, then I'm gonna get it. I, I mean, that's just that's just it, you know. So we're gonna run over, uh, kill us a Draco sack. Okay, so I'm supposed to be telling you about Monday, but I'm and I've been so focused on Yu-Gi-Oh that I'm not telling you about my Monday. So, Monday, I have history and psychology. God damn it! All the answers. Go ahead. And just when I finally thought I would be able to get him, see? This! Going first. If I would have went first, this duel would not be going like this. And because I didn't go first, this is exactly how this duel is going. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You know? Um. God damn, this life damage. I mean, at least it can't summon any more tokens, but shit. No, no, I'm losing. Well, I can use that. So. This guy gets weaker. Okay. So. Uh. I summon this. 
an about face. I don't know who the Dracos are. Yes, I would like to activate during the damage step. And then he goes back down. So we're about the same attack now. And unless he summons another wind monster, which of course then he means he'll be stronger than me. And it's kind of dumb that he counts himself, but whatever. So I couldn't even select him as the attack target. God damn it! This guy just has all the answers. Please don't be a harpy lady card in your hand. Because if it is, then I. Su Mm. Really? Really? Okay. Sure. Alright, be right back. Alright, we're back. So, let me just... Oh my god! We're going against some Exodia deck. You don't have an extra deck, so what the hell am I facing? Probably something scrubby and sacky. I don't know. I, I really don't know. Maybe you bell back. You know? I don't see anybody playing Fernies without an extra deck, but I don't know. Maybe they do. Got one back. Okay. It's weird. Go ahead and play Pot. I don't know if Kushi, Trantal. The Honest. Summon this. And attack you directly. If you want to deprison me or mirror force me, I really don't care. Right, because only didn't see that one coming. That's fine. Set this. Pass to you. Um, history clap, kind of boring, but it wasn't too boring. We're pretty much just talking about how um, places are after the American Revolution. No, that's not worth it. I don't care. Finally, reveal it to me what you're playing. Chaos Dragons? I don't know. No, what would be the point of that? That's dumb. Um, we're, just, we're pretty much just talking about how things are after the American Revolution and such. It's nothing too big, but it's fine. It's pretty easy. So, I guess we'll summon... I'm not getting any Beast Warriors, which is surprisingly. This duel is actually kind of sucking, because I'm not getting any of the Boots and Beast Warriors. Well, I guess I should have got the, um, um, uh, Mikazushi, but... Where's Yamato? Well, I've been getting Yamato in forever, you know? Okay. Okay. If that's what you want to do. Uh, I kind of want to activate this, but I wait till I torrental him. If I get to torrental him, for all I know, he could just attack. You know. And maybe he doesn't summon. That would suck. There we go. What does that do if this card would be destroyed? Right. If any effect on this card. When a card effect to destroy a monster group activate, you can send one card. Ah, no, no, I'm gonna have to warning that. Mm -mm. Yeah, so I'm losing now. All right, so I can finally use this card. Blue Incarnation. Good. So I'm both of them. Finally, I'm glad I didn't, you know, I at least decided to run one. No, I would have won Trundle. Alright, now we're gonna make a Sasana Noel. We might be able to come back from this door. No. Activate the effect. Uh, it really doesn't matter what I detach, actually, but... Uh... I'm more worried about the background that he could be setting, so... We're gonna go ahead and... Okay, I guess. And we're gonna go ahead and grab a Yamato. Yep, Yamato almost clicked Mikazuchi. 
I've been awkward if I would have done that. The question is, do I? I don't want to. I can always honest him. I could. I can always honest him. Oh, I got crane. Never mind. I got crane. So he wants to during your opponent's turn, you can match this card during I only gave one attack from most of the choice. I wanna try something. I wanna try something. Okay, okay, so that's how it worked. It would block one attack. Uh that's not worth it. That's not worth it to use my crane right now. Yes, we're gonna activate Yamato, and we're going to get Quinn, and we're gonna drop Quinn. Alright, so uh after that I had Bitch out of my face. No. You're not gonna do that to me. Hell no. After that, I had psychology class, and in psychology class, we had a test. Now, I was pretty much studying the test, and I felt that I was really ready. No, it's okay. Uh, so when I took the test, it was pretty easy. Pretty easy. I think I'm maybe like out of a 60 question test, there's only like maybe like. I'd say. Uh, Maybe like 10 out of 60. I only I didn't know 10, so uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. You know. Okay, we're gonna add that to him. Then pretty much at this point we have the duel on lockdown. If you want to drop a Gorus, go right ahead. I don't care because I got the answer for that. Let's turn our music back to the way that we like it. Uh, so we're gonna get a turtle now. You won't be able to target me. Well, I can block your target. And then we'll pretty much be set up. So, um, it was pretty easy. It's pretty easy. I, I pretty much knew. You know? And the question I didn't know, I put a question mark. I'm a very fast test taker. I'm pretty much, I'm a good test taker. You know? If I definitely know the answer, bubble it in. You know, don't second guess myself. Bam. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done. Once I don't know, then I can get it down to like, maybe like 50%. I put a question mark. And I said, come back to that later, because you might, I think that, you know, generally how it works is that I can get a, uh, a hint to the answer in maybe some other questions, because sometimes that, you know, that actually happens. Uh, I'm almost done with my story, you know. <sighs> Alright, so I'm going to choose something else. Uh, uh, rock. Uh, paper. Yes, finally, I get to go first. You know, who doesn't like to go first? This hand is bad. I have no Beast Warrior. Come on, Potadola. Show me a Beast Warrior. Just one. Just one. Just... <sighs> you too. Give me the pot. I, I, need, I need the Beast Warrior. I need it. I need it. There, there's no... There's no me not needing it. I need the Beast Warrior. Summon so Heihachi and pass to you. You know? His hand is terrible. I don't know. I don't know. I know lately it's just been. Ugh. You know, I need a beast warrior at Bujin. I'm not getting a beast warrior at Bujin at all. We're we going to get six MRIs. Infernities. I don't know. I'm going to get some Infernities. I might lose this duel. Yep, I'm going to get some Infernities. Yep, definitely lost. So why would you say good luck if, you know, you're Infernities? What kind of crap is that? Oh, you bell. My bad, I was talking all that good shit. My bad. I mean, obviously, I'm on a name. Alright, you're going to tribute Armageddon Knight? That's fine. So I pretty much got to face off against you bell. Can't use Paladino. Cowboy won't help. Oh, black ship. Black ship. Duh. And now that now we're not gonna activate pot. So here we go. I'm Evil Mastery. I know exactly how to handle this. <laughs> so I'm just gonna send you to the grave. I'm not dumb. Take a thousand. Yay. 
And I think I'm done. Alright. I mean, that play, that play was straight up infernity play, but for some reason he used it with Ebel, which is kind of weird. But hey, you got Ebel in the graveyard. Wow, and then you quit. You immediately quit. Oh my god. That's as much credit as you give to Ebel. You must have a shitty hand. I should just save the replay just to look at your hand. I totally should. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna save the replay. Oh, I gotta name it. Uh, Ebel. I'm gonna save it. So, sorry for the abrupt cut there. kind of messed up. Um, so... Uh, I felt like I did really well in the test. I I continue to get shitty hands with Budens, and uh, it, it's it's get, it's it's going good. It's going well, and I'm glad that I'm I'm getting these ass hat hands, where I can't even get one beast warrior, not even one. So we're just gonna summon this, set this, set this. And then you quit. Oh my god. You know what? Fuck it. We're not doing any more duels. We got um, we got a whole bunch of quitters. Shit. It's just Bujins. And seriously? Oh my god. Just ev Oh my god. Uh, seriously, the Skype is just getting on my nerves. I'm not even gonna edit out the Skypes. Screw it. If they pop up, they pop up. I'm, I'm sick and tired of this. I'm getting really frustrated right now. So, um, after that, I, got a, I finished the test in like 15 minutes. It was like really easy. Just psh, done. I think I got it. I used to be maybe an A. So, I'm good with that. After that, I um, went over to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Slash now Pokemon table, because everybody in my is playing Pokemon. Um, it's chilled. I do it with my Castello deck against, um, our streams, I beat them. Um, so I was pretty much waiting for Friend Girl to come by. And finally she showed up, and I was like, I texted her, and I'm like, hey, are you coming, you know, to the B-Building? And she never texted me back. A few days ago, I texted her, and she never texted me back, and I thought that was kind of odd. You know, I mean, not too odd. I'm kind of used to girls never texting me, so I, now I don't think too much of it. I know, I'm so pessimistic. Anyway, she shows up, and I'm like, did you not get my text? And she was like, no, I never got your text. She's like, there's something wrong with my phone. So she shows me her phone to confirm she never got my text. And I showed her my phone, and I was like, I sent you a text. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. My phone's been messing up lately, and I'm like, oh, it's understandable, so... You know, at least she's not tech she's not not texting me, you know. That's good. So, uh, you know, we just chill, hang out, talk about uh Pokemon, talk about her toe, talk about just everything in the under the rainbow of just stuff that I like. I'm really starting to like this girl. And it's really awesome because you know, you know, generally when you have a girl that you like, you try to find things that are common with you, you know. Sometimes you find a girl, she has a great appearance, but you have nothing in common. But you still want to make it work, because she looks good. This girl is cute, and she's into all the stuff that I like, you know? She's into Pokemon, she's into Yu-Gi-Oh! We can talk about animes, it's just awesome. So I'm really enjoying my time with her. So, I had to come home early, because my mom needed the car. So, when I was leaving to go, I said, okay, I gotta go. She spread her arms open for a hug. That, that, that doesn't happen to me often, where a girl wants me to hug them. I know, I'm so pathetic. Anyway, that's so awesome, you know? She wanted a hug from me, you know? It wasn't like, hey, can I give you a hug? She opened her arms for me to give her a hug. I think I'm doing successfully. So, I don't know, maybe I'll ask her on a date or something. I mean, maybe just no, nothing like, hey, you want to go to movies or something, you know? Nothing like, hey, go to dinner with me and then I can propose to you. <laughs> but, you know, just something simple. I don't know. Just tell me, but I think I'm doing okay. I think I'm doing okay. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. Uh, make sure you watch uh, episode one of Comrade Foz. We're going to do this series. Um, you know, it's not just me posting up episodes of Foz at the end of every episode. I am pretty much going to be giving like uh, maybe like a one to two minute um, just uh, review or what my opinion of the episode is. Because I haven't watched Foz in years. So, I'm going to rewatch it with you guys. And, you know, it's just going to be awesome. I just remember that the storyline was awesome and. That's probably like one of my story favorite storylines of Common Rider. And we'll just see how it goes. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with Mermails.